Welcome back to Studio 5. I'm Ashley Kewish hosting while Brooke is away. Have you ever looked at your husband or child and wondered what the heck was going on inside their head? Happens to me on a daily basis. That's the premise of the new Disney Pixar movie, Inside Out. It's a smart, funny, oh, sometimes oh, emotional oh, film that breaks down good. the way human relationships work from shoes. the inside right, out. What are we watching? Did sure. you guys pick up on that? Sure mm -hmm. did. Something's wrong. We're gonna find out what's happening, but we'll need support. Signal the husband. <clears throat> Uh-oh, she's looking at us. What did she say? What? Oh, oh, sorry, sir. No one was listening. <laughs> <laughs> the movie's the clever, spot-on characterization of human emotions what? is a hit with kids and parents, and it seems like everyone who sees to wa walks away ah, with a fresh so perspective Riley, and new insight into the people oh, around them. Oh, Dr. Mount Townsend is here with four takeaways Pilot. from the film. You know, I saw this with my six-year-old son, my two-year-old daughter. Yeah. They loved it. They seem to get a lot out of it. But what can we get out of it? Well, isn't it amazing? I, I, we just saw it with my whole family. We took everybody in my family. But what I learned was this, and the most important thing is those emotions are always telling us something, right? So in, in the movie, there's five basic emotion that, emotions that they talk With about. each has a character. Yeah. Joy, sad, fear, disgust. disgust, one of my favorites, and anger, right? But these emotions are there. Now, here's one of the most powerful things I've learned, and this will help you in all relationships. Just learn to recognize the, the, the emotion. When we can start to recognize that the emotion is there, the emotion is always there to tell us something, right? So recognizing a, the emotion in another person is actually telling us what's going on inside their head. And it's also really important because the emotion is not who they are. The right. emotion is different than who they are. So a lot of times we peg somebody as their emotion. Oh, she's just depressed all always the time. Always angry. Yeah, always yeah. angry. Mm -hmm. But once I start to recognize your emotion, those emotions will eventually start to lead me to a deeper story or to a deeper meaning. Right. And I love that it was actually inside of their head. There were all of these other things going on, and then they'd be they'd be emoted and shared on the outside. So you could pick up on what's really going on inside somebody by paying attention to the emotion. Now, do we do do we assume everybody has the same emotions, yeah. those same characters mm -hmm. in their head. And if you notice, interestingly, they all do have the same types of emotion, but they all play differently, right? So in some person's head, they might have more anger. Anger might come out more prominently. In another person's uh, mind, it might be more joy. In this movie, joy was a really big push. We got to have joy. We got to have joy. Mm -hmm. And one of the powerful things about it, though, is everybody's got a different kind of combination. So when we're dealing with our partner, we want to not assume that we know what their combination is. Let's remain curious. Let's remain open. Don't be so convinced that you don't need more information. And try to figure out what your partner's emotions are and how they like to play them. Usually we play our emotions in an order. So a great thing you might want to do is sit down with your kids, your family, and start to notice which of those emotions did you relate to more? Did sadness really kind of affect you in a different way and that you liked more than maybe joy? Yeah, and one of the big themes in this movie is change. Yeah. The main character, this little girl, is going through a big change. Huge change. I mean, that's life. What's, yeah. what's the takeaway? Here well, the benefit of, of this one, the great takeaway is that change is actually a huge opportunity. It was hard for her. She was moving right. to San Francisco. She lost her friends. She lost her favorite sport for a while. But the interesting thing about the change is that it actually fosters growth. If we allow the change to happen, it's going to upset the emotions. The emotions are going to get into play. And then our job is to sit there and figure out what does this change bring us? And I call it a choice point. Every one of us has choice points. When a change occurs, change, by the way, is inevitable. It's right. always going to happen. Life. So if it's not moving, it's losing something, it's breaking something, it's hurting yourself, it's losing a job. But once the change happens, you then get to decide how you're going to manage your emotion through it and what meaning you're going to create out of it. The change is always going to be there. So get used to it. Right. And, you know, one of the things I noticed with the emotion sadness, I mean, it seems like sometimes we're afraid to show sadness yeah. and see other people feel sad or ourselves yeah. be sad. Huge. And when you think about it because, by the way, every one of these emotions want us they're there for a reason. They're there to help us survive. They're there to make us feel better. They're there to take advantage of stuff. We feel fear because we don't want to be hurt. We feel joy because we want to take advantage of good stuff. So generally, a lot of us think that joy is the most important emotion you can have. And it is yeah. after all of the other emotions. And one of the things I found, this is so amazing, because I had a son that just came home from a mission. And 
when he left on the mission, we were devastated, oh, sad, okay. like as if he had died, okay? So we went to the airport, and we actually saw this movie like three days after he got home. But this is video of us at the airport, and I want you to just notice something. We're all waiting. We've been sad. My, we're frustrated. I'm like, come on, Jake, because he wasn't coming out. <laughs> but watch. I want you to watch my wife and see the joy. So there's my wife. In the blue shirt right in the there. the blue shirt. Oh. That's my boy. Now watch her face. Watch her face. There's joy. Joy of a dad having a son home. Oh, pure joy. joy. I love this. is joy. making me tear. I know. <laughs> joy. Now this little boy right here is my youngest. He sobbed oh, when my son God. left. So that there's the joy. So How old's your little boy? He's that was 10 playing? right there. Oh. And he, when Jake left, it was his best friend on earth. But that sadness set up this moment of incredible joy. So one of the great lessons we learn out of this video is you can only know joy. Only you can know it if you've had it. You have to have sadness. So we have to allow the dark in if you want to know the light, right? We have to allow the pain in. So the change will create pain, and the pain, if we work through it and manage our emotions, will make us stronger, and then we'll have a great moment of joy or of peace or of comfort. So it's one of the most important lessons we've all got to learn because life's not meant to just sit here and make it nice for you. Right. you got to have the pain. But honestly, when we sent him on that mission, we went to our basement and we watched a movie, and it was as if he had died. Oh. And two years later, we got a joyful moment. And it's contagious. See how contagious it right. is? Right. And was that kind of a transition that uh -huh. didn't happen overnight? No, no, no. In fact, it was painful, painful for a month or two or three. Then it got pretty normal, normal, normal. Then we forgot about him. I didn't even remember he was out there. <laughs> and then eventually you start kicking it in. But the joy is felt by everybody that had any suffering. And that's the benefit of this. And that's really what this movie teaches us is Joy and, and um, uh, joy and what is it, sadness have yeah. to go together. How do you manage the sadness? You know what, part of it is just allow it in, feel the emotion, recognize the emotion, notice that it's not you, it's a, it's a feeling that's there to protect you. Recognize it, but then you could turn it into anything you want to turn it into. We get to create the meaning and the symbols of it. So take that sadness, take that pain, and say something to yourself, just get it in your head that that sadness, it means this. That sadness of me losing a person that I love and they've passed away, that sadness means I had these many opportunities with them. And you could actually turn the sadness and go back to my good moments and find those joyful moments that make the sadness even harder. We can turn any in any situation into whatever we need it to be. Most of us, though, just let our emotions run. Right. And in that movie, we find out that don't, let your, don't ever let your emotions run wild. They will take over. All right, lots of good insight here. Where can people look uh, for more advice yeah. on relationships? We have a brand new website up. If you go to matttownsend.com, killer, killer opportunity. You have 150 hours of uh, content online, tons of tools, every blog I've ever done, all my radio shows are on it now, everything I've ever done, Studio 5, everything's there. One stop, matttownsend.com. All right. Thanks so much for thanks, stopping Ashley. by.